Welcome back to another episode of CJ Farms on FS19, guys. I'm just finishing up a last little bit of cleaning here on the, uh, the John Deere harvester from uh, what, what we done yesterday. Now let's go ahead. Looks like it's pretty clean. Let's go ahead and put this up. We're going to park this thing. Lift that up. I hope you guys are enjoying the week and enjoying... Uh, you know what content I, what content I put out so far on uh, on the Farm Simulator channel is CJ Farms. Hope you guys are enjoying that and uh, my patrols as well on the Criminal Justice channel. Let's go ahead and put that down. This thing rolls so easily, guys. Let's pull it just a little bit. We'll release it there, and then we're gonna park this harvester, guys. We got quite the harvest yesterday. Um, oh, I got stuck on that for a minute. We got a really big harvest yesterday, guys, from all the corn and and everything that we were harvesting, guys. It was a big, big harvest, guys. Um, I finished up uh, taking... Oh, man, see what I'm saying, guys? It rolls so easily. Come on. Get it forward a little bit. Nope. Shut it off. There you go. I mean, guys, we... Uh, I'm serious. Let me, let me speed my guy up here. So, we... We have went up on corn and oats big time, guys. Look at our corn. We're at 57,000 pounds of corn, guys. And we have 23,000 pounds of oats. Now, everything else that you see, guys, come uh, was already here when we got here. But we have filled up the corn and the wheat. Now, today, guys, I'm sorry, the, the corn and the oats. Today, guys, we are going to be uh, sowing our field over here. So let me get over to the other field. We're going to be sowing this field right here, guys. I did have to buy a new tractor, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, cultivate one of the fields over there because I had a couple guys out cultivating. Uh, they, uh, the other one's probably done by now. Um, but I had to buy a bigger tractor, <clears throat> which was quite expensive. Um, so at least we you know, we had the money for that. Um, guys, but this... this, uh, this cedar right here is going to blow your mind when I open it up. It is so, it just stretches out so far. Um, and today, guys, we're going to be planting canola over here. But let's go ahead and open this machine up. And I'm going to hop out. Guys, this will actually pull the tractor backwards as it's opening. Look at that. It pulls the tractor back. Isn't that something, guys? So we're going to make sure this thing's going to stretch out enough to hit the edge of the field. And it looks like it is going to get the job done. Looks like it's right on the money. So, we're going to go ahead and hop in, guys. And let me take my speed back down so I'm not running all over the place. And let's start this up. Alright. And canola it is, guys. Let's go ahead and pull up. We got to get, we got to zoom way out, man. This is crazy, man. This is... And I love doing this farming, guys, but these, these cedars, man, they're just so crazy long, man. Some are so just extremely long, and but they get the job done a lot quicker, to say the least. Um, is it is it sewing? I think I... Okay, now I think it's on. I can't really... No, it is not. It is actually not on. My mistake. Okay, I thought for sure that shuts the tractor off. All right, guys, this is going to be one of them things I'm going to have to have my help window for. So give me just a second. And let me turn it on because I really thought I knew. I, I, thought, I thought they were all the same. Um, let's see. It says it's on. Oh, look at the lights on that thing, guys. It says it's, it says it's on. Lower the cedar. Ah, there we go. Duh. Duh. What the heck was I thinking? Nope. Back. Back, back. Come on, man. Our seeds are running. Our seeds are running. Get out of that. Okay, now it's off. I forgot you can look up there and the thing on the back of the tractor in the left-hand corner will turn orange when it's on. So that is on. And now we should be sowing canola. And that we are. Let's go ahead and get a worker on this, guys. We're, we're going to be doing something else while that takes place. And I hope he's going to get the whole edge of that field. Looks like he's going to. Yeah, so we got some canola sewing here, guys. 
we're gonna head over here and I'm gonna show you guys a little contrapment that I uh, that I actually installed today on the game it's actually really cool uh, it's gonna involve us cutting some grass guys we're gonna be cutting some grass today uh, but before we do that I'm gonna head down to the other um, the other tractor here the new one I had to buy which is not gonna look new now because it's filthy and I also had to buy a new cultivator guys and this cultivator is so big and I call it the tarantula and you guys are gonna know exactly why I call it the tarantula as soon as I fold it up guys look at the size of this cultivator man that is serious cultivating work right there so yeah I call this one the the, the tarantula and you'll know why as soon as I fold it up watch this guys this thing is is uh, pretty crazy looking but you're gonna know why and there's the new truck we bought, guys. There's the inside of it. But look at this thing, guys. The way it looks when you float it up. This is exactly why I call it the tarantula. Look at that. Isn't that wild looking, guys? It looks just like a dead gum spider. Man, crazy. But yeah, guys, this is the new tractor I had to buy. Uh, so when, the thing about it, guys, is when you buy these cultivators like this, if you will look... Um, down at the bottom left corner of where you're buying the cultivator from you will see it requires a certain amount of horsepower okay every cultivator does every um, anything you pull behind your tractor requires a certain amount of horsepower to be pulled and this one right here required I believe it was 500 horsepower and um, my uh, my challenger wouldn't even pull it guys the challenger over on the field would not even pull this so um it was just it was just no it wasn't the challenger i'm sorry it was my gray new holland it wouldn't pull it at all uh, the challenger probably would pull it but uh this this tractor right here is actually i think 650 horsepower um so it's gonna pull it no problem every time that's that is for sure we've got this field over here cultivated guys and ready to be seated um, I should probably have two seeders, but I don't really think there's a need for that. We're going to pull in here, guys. And there's our contraption right there that we put together. I'm going to show you guys how that thing works here in just a minute. We'll park this here for right now until we are ready to wash it. But, man, that has taken up a lot of space in the uh, on the farm here. Look at that. So, yeah, guys, there's the tarantula right there. Man, that thing looks awesome, though. It's so awesome. As much as I hate spiders, I think that looks cool. So, guys, okay, so I'm going to explain to you guys what this is. This right here, guys, as you know, most of you know, these are Kun Bellers. Okay, that's the name of the, the brand name is Kun. And um, Kun, or however you said it, I think it's Kun. Um, and it is a uh, VB2190. Now, this thing will actually, it only puts up one bell at a time. But that's kind of the purpose of having this contrapment here because this thing will actually spit out a bell and I believe it falls right onto this and this right here will wrap that bell of hay up into a ferment blanket, I mean into a silo blanket and it ferments it into silage which you can either sell or feed to your cattle, okay? And we all know that silage is worth a lot of money so um, we're not going to be giving it to our cattle. Of course, we don't have any which that will be later. So we're gonna go ahead and fire this up. And I can just unfold that one. See how it unfolds, guys? The bell will fall off. It will pick it up. I'll show you guys. The bell will come out of the back. Let me slow my guy down here a little bit again. The bell will come out the back, drop right there. It will pick it up, wrap it, and then it will fall off the back of this in which we will have to come by and pick it up and then sell it. So let's go ahead and jump back in real quick. And we'll fold that back up. <clears throat> the guys I hope you're having a great week so far I hope you guys are happy and where you want to be in life man and that you are uh, consistent in your prayer or some kind of meditation it's very very good to do that guys thank you for tuning to CJ Farms today I do appreciate the love and support guys we're gonna pull this over here and uh, we're just gonna kind of park it up here somewhere because we're gonna need it here in just a minute but we don't need to write this second all right and we're gonna let that down let me back out a little bit so you guys can see what's going on. I'm going to turn the mowers on. We're going to turn on the tether. And we're going to go for it, guys. Here we go. Cutting some grass, man. And see how the tether, guys, it just it spins it out and dries the grass for you, um, you know, pretty much immediately. Uh, so that you can come by with a windrower, put it up in a row, 
and then either put it in a loading wagon or you can bail it up like we're going to do. So we're actually going to turn right here. And then what we'll do, guys, is when we get done, <clears throat> we'll come back with the with the tractor and the uh, the uh, wind rower, and we'll um, we'll put it up in a row. I haven't cut grass in a long time, guys. I kind of get to get the hang of it again. So we're actually only going to cut about half of this field. So we're actually going to turn right here. We're going to make a U-turn right here. Well, not a U-turn, but we're going to turn. We're going to go straight across here, and then we'll just go back and forth and cut it all up. I should have, should have probably started right in here. I don't know why I was what I was thinking. That is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be it. All right, so see we got that little bit up here. Probably should have just went ahead and cut the whole field, but you know what? That's good for right now. That'll do. What I was saying, guys, I should have started like right there and then worked my way over instead of putting that little line back there. It kind of looks stupid, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Ain't nothing we can do about it now. So let's go ahead and fold this stuff up. And we're going to put it back in the uh, in the shed. And then we're going to grab our tractor and grab the wind rower and get on that. We're going to check our cedar too, guys. Check see how he's, uh, I believe he's done, so... So like I said, guys, as soon as we get done doing what we're doing with the grass, we will turn the plant growth on and and then the canola can grow up. The canola can grow, not grow up. All right, and there's that. So the next thing we're gonna grab, guys, is that uh, wind drawer that you see right there. That's what we're grabbing, guys. That is what we're getting. All right, so let's go ahead and back up to that. Oh, did I not pull in there right? There we go. All right. And now what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna go down. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. If we go across or go back and forth, I think back and forth would be the best way to probably do this. Let's go ahead and open it up. And we're gonna, uh, and we'll get that last little bit there, guys. Um, you know, when we, when we get done with this other part, we'll get that last little bit. So you're gonna see what this wind drawer does, guys. It puts everything right in a row. That way you can come by with the loading wagon or um, or your baler and, and bail it right up and load it up or whatever you wanna do. Come on, man, get your stuff straight, brother. Do I got stuff behind me, crafts behind me? I think I do. If I can get this thing backed up right, it's kind of irritating me, it's not doing right. There we go. All right, so it is down, is that down? Yeah, it is, okay. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and do this. And see, guys, it just kind of takes that and puts it all in a row for you. And that way it makes it easy to pick up, you know what I mean? Makes it very, very easy to pick up. That is for sure. Because you don't want to have to go through them and try to get all them little pieces, man. It's, it's, it's quite annoying. All right, let's... Uh, let me get in a little closer here. Ooh, don't hit that, don't hit that. All right, now what we want to do is try to get as close to the edge of that as possible. All right, let's put it down. Here we go. I see this new Holland's pulling this like nothing. Now, see something like this, guys, probably requires, you know, maybe like 50 to 100 horsepower to pull it. So it doesn't take much at all. So when you get a tractor like this with about 300 horsepower, it pulls it like it's nothing. All right, and take it all the way to the end. There we go. And then we're gonna sling her on around here. Just like this. Now this is cool stuff, guys. Guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel here. And, uh, smack that notification bell so you never miss anything I post guys there should be a link up there in the top right corner for you to subscribe to the channel and I will also leave the playlist at the end of the video guys again thank you for tuning in the episode I do appreciate your love and support it does mean a lot alright now we can go ahead and go ahead and fold this 
We can go ahead. We, I said that twice. We can go ahead. Go ahead. We can go on. A, we can go on and go ahead and fold this thing up. And uh, now we're going. We're going to do, guys. You see these rows of grass? We're actually going to grab that other contraption over there, and that is where that comes in handy. So we are going to edit right. All right, guys. So now that we <clears throat> are in our other tractor here, I'm going to show you guys how this works. It's actually pretty cool, man. I really. Really like this. I really hope it works, to be honest about it. I'm going to look stupid if it doesn't work. All right, so here's what's going to happen, guys. And these things are really uh, quite difficult to back up. They're almost uh, they're almost impossible. You just got to you gotta turn them just right. I'm trying to get it to see. See what I mean, guys? It'll buckle on you. It will buckle on you quick. You know what? I'm just going to turn around and get it straightened out like that's what I'm going to do. Alright guys, so now that we have our other contraption here, I'm going to show you exactly how this works. And I really hope it works. If it don't, I'm going to look really stupid. And I don't like looking stupid. So let's, uh... We got the beller on. Unfold that. Let's make sure our wheels are down. Is our wheels down the beller? Okay. And beller is on. And here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Let's hope this works. <laughs> it should. It should, guys. It should work. <clears throat> now, I don't know if I have to manually eject the bells myself or if it does it on its own. So, that we will have to find out. It might actually have a beeping sound when it gets full. See, guys, it's not going to take it long to fill up. Yeah, see, it will not take it long to fill up. You've got to keep an eye on it, man. Luckily, it backed up kind of straight for me. So we're going to drop the bell. Should put pick right up in that. Wrap it up. And then spit it out the back. So it's going to wrap it up in a silo blanket, guys. And it's going to drop it off the back there. Look at that. Is that not super cool, guys? That is so cool. That is so super cool. Am I supposed to cut it off or is it going to cut off on its own? It's wrapping it up pretty good, huh? Wrapping it up pretty good. Now, do I have to eject that myself? Ah, okay, there we go. Look at that, guys. That is super cool, man. Super cool. I dig that. Gosh, I'm such a video game nerd. I love it, though. I love being... Hey... If playing video games and having a good time and being positive makes me a nerd, then so be it. So be it, man. And we're going to get a couple of these bales, guys, done. All right, so we got 90, what do we got, 93%. So we want to make sure we get this thing pretty straight back in there. We're going to have to swing her on around here. All right, we'll just have to go real easy on the last percentage so we don't go too far. And that's going to be it. Let's go ahead and whip it out. I'm going to get out, guys, and actually watch this thing. This is this is just way too cool, man. I mean, check that out, guys. Is that not just cool, man? Look at that. Automatically wraps it up in a silo blanket for you, ferments it. And then once it's done, of course, you know, It'll stop, and then we got to close this thing back up, and it'll knock it right off. The See, I didn't know that. I thought it just went off automatically on its own, but you have to close the, the beller back. It wraps it up good, don't it? That is super cool, man. Look at that machine. All right. Let's hop back in, close the beller. All right, and back at it. So I'm assuming we can just turn the beller back on as soon as we close it, uh, even when that is dropping the... Uh, the bells. All right, guys, so we're just going to grab a few of these bells and see how much they sell for. I'm just curious, but we're going to go ahead and bell the rest of them up uh, when we get time, of course. So let's go ahead and let this wheel down. Oh, can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? There we go. We got that one. Now, this right here, guys, I believe will hold uh, eight bells. I don't think it holds very much, so... Come 
Come on, man. You gonna pick it up or what? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and grab this. I really hope these sell. So we're gonna grab a full rack of hay here. So one more, so two, four, two, four, six, yeah, eight bells it holds, guys, so not many. I wish they'd come out with another one uh, that would actually hold um, more, but this one only holds eight, unfortunately. I think that's all it can hold, yeah. So we gotta go over here to the, uh, we're gonna go over here to the, uh, the sell point and get rid of these and see how much they actually sell for, um, which I don't think they're actually fermented yet, but We'd have to speed up the time for that. All right, and let's go ahead and eject these. And release. Let's see how much they sold for. Oh, 18,000, nice, for eight bales of that? That was nice. That's pretty good right there. But guys, I think it'd be better for us if we got us a big bell trailer and we just grab these one by one with a uh, with a fork on the front loader and, um, you know what I mean, and, and put it on the trailer and just brought it all over there at once and just, and just drove it in. All right, guys, and that is going to do it for this episode of FS19. Uh, be sure to uh, check out my YouTube brothers and sisters in the description below, guys. All their links are down there. Go check out the channels and subscribe to them. Guys, also, if you will uh, look up in the top right corner at any time, it should be popping up, uh, the link to um, to subscribe to my channel here and the playlist on this channel itself, guys. And until next time, guys, stay positive, follow your dreams, keep on keeping on, and keep on farming. CJ Farms is out, baby. We out. <laughs>